Donald Trump just became the president. <laughs> <laughs> Doughboy, you have on leggings now. Shut up. Nah, man. He's in sweats, man. Yeah. I can cross my From the satin nursing home collection. <laughs> <laughs> so you see the socks? I got the Donkey Kong socks, man. It's a whole thing. You got bananas it there? It says go bananas? Yeah. I'm actually, th- actually going to come out with my own sock line. Where do you shop? Burlington. <laughs> You, you got those from Burlington? You still shopping? Yeah, I got a gold card. A gold, what is that? A gold card? Yeah, man, I just know people up in there, man. They don't have gold cards. They they have like a plaid card. You can't tell me. <laughs> you can't tell me that you didn't get this from Burlington. I got this from the actual polo store. Oh, you got really? That from the baby polo. This store. that in the polo store. <laughs> this is a polo. Oh, that is. Uh, nigga, it it could have fell off the truck. I don't it know. It has the horse right there. They be having those. Wait a at, minute. At wait a minute. That's wait a minute. Because says. wait a minute. Because <laughs> DZ has on a metallic gold. Do rag. Yeah, what, what, what are you? What are you thinking? Looking like the Duke of Slauson. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, I loved it. <laughs> you guys have regular do rag. About his gold. Where is that? <laughs> yeah, what, are, what are you doing? What, what, yeah. what were you? What were you aiming for? Well, you know, um, I went down to Bethlehem and went to the, <laughs> went to the gift shop. They had these golden do rags. <laughs> Just repping my Lakers, man. Shout out to Lakers. Where do they even well, sell? Do those? not bring the Lakers. Into this, where do they sell those at? <laughs> right, it's got nothing to do with the ladies. You go with gold, Kobe yeah. would not want, want that gold, <laughs> purple, and gold, but you ain't wearing no purple. But it's not even I'm that a king. Of... I crown me, no, this get a real mm. crown. Let's Bruh. talk about this gold, Guys. green, and red. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, at least that's his hair, though. He can't change that. He looks like no, he can't. He looks change like that. <laughs> he can cut it with what would I change? He looks like a young auntie, but that's not the point. <laughs> what would I change? Auntie? You know, like your little sister, but you had a baby, so now your little sister's an auntie. She, she takes your child to like high school basketball games. Stop smoking child. cigarettes, CP. No, <laughs> I don't you look like cigarettes. a little auntie. <laughs> you look like a little auntie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Reggie Bowl, ladies and gentlemen, you can find it on my channel. <laughs> Got the anyway, voice of a brisket chef. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> a brisket chef? Who is a brisket <laughs> chef? Funny. That's funny. <laughs> the sauce is <isn't> ready. <laughs> <laughs> I said what I said. Oh, Wait, what? Man. You didn't say anything yet. <laughs> exactly. I said what I said. Cloud, you look like a choreographer at a daycare. <laughs> <laughs> I want all the children in the diapers to the left. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be thriller themed. A choreographer? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, welcome to another episode of the Squad Cast. Yeah. You see over here we have Daisy. Give it up for this gold do rag. Golden Daisy. Golden do rag. Golden Daisy. You know how rare Golden Daisy is? Like if you pull a Golden Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's what I was going for. Oh, Patty you, have to, you have to do 20 robberies right. to, get a gold, <laughs> to get a golden do rag. It's an achievement. <laughs> <laughs> 20 oh, B and E. Oh, <laughs> so oh, yeah. This do rag <laughs> come with two twenty five of life's complete. <laughs> two twenty five. Got a life. golden D Z. I done went prison platinum. I two got a golden D Z. <laughs> you, you do a credit card scheme. You get the matching shoes. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, my gosh, Patrick Cloud in the building. Yes. I'm filling in for to hear more. He's probably brisket shopping right now. Wow. Oh, that's brisket hilarious. shopping, right? Yes. No boys <laughs> in the building. Of course, boom, you boom. see the one and only CP. What up, though? What up, though? What up, that's what up, right. What? My hair is dry. Yeah. Bigger my eyes. You didn't want to put nothing in it. Well, you know, I don't give a fuck. So <laughs> yeah, I don't know clearly, we, we, you know, not like that. But you know, when you've been handsome for so long, at some point it just becomes. You just like, like fuck look, the hair. It's just like you know, I'm letting it breathe. Me and Jay Z got a similar mind. I mean, I can either do the hair or the mustache, but not both at the same time. It's a lot. It's an overload for me. Your beard looks like a toupee. Can you grow a beard? Can you grow one? It looks like, no, I can't, bro. Okay, exactly. Can't, That'd be weird. I'm trying to picture that. <laughs> right. What, me with a beard? I yeah. used to have one. It, was just, it just wasn't really sweet. <laughs> you, you, you had the I feel like you would look like you just yell stuff downtown. <laughs> oh, God damn it. There's some waffles. Waffles. <laughs> some waffles. I probably I told would, the This is what I told you. Oh, my God. Virginia Slim. What? Brad? No, wait. No boy looks like one of Spider Man's enemies at some kind of cosplay <laughs> event. Y'all not fuck with these pants for real? No. Get over here. I yeah. just knew when I wore these, y'all be like, all right, though, you putting it together. Nope. Yeah. Here's the thing. What kind, of, what kind of white tiger camouflage? What's it say? On, wait, wait, wait. First of all, are they echo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> say, it, say it again. Echo say and it limited? Again. 
Echo, yeah. They stopped making that in like 2006. Nah, Why do you have retro. this? It's retro. What? what? Yeah, it's that throwback shit. I couldn't tell because the, the rhino looks like a rat, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> this might be bootleg Echo. Oh my God. <laughs> this is Echo Limited. Not Echo. <laughs> <laughs> this is Echo the Sound, not the clothing company. Oh my God. I thought oh, y'all was fucking with these. I like them. No, dog. we're they, not. Look, they look, put it like this if they was like my first pair of pants ever. <laughs> I, I feel um, I feel strongly, but this is my first pair. I'll be like partial to them. So in that <laughs> mindset, I'm looking at it like this is my first pair. I like them. Well, it's a whole suit. It's like a whole set, isn't it? You just got the bottom half. Wait, where's the jacket? Tell me you don't have a damn uh, scarred up polar bear outfit. No, I just got the pants. Man, I just was like, I'm rocking with the bottoms. Do you like think that they made the jacket? Uh, they might have. No, the like, you know they have have no, no, you saw it on the hanger. But why do your shoes look like some Jordans and Timberlands had sex and then put those <laughs> on your feet? That's I've never seen those. Jorbalands? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> the joy, the door jumping out of the tree. <laughs> Yo, boy, <laughs> thou shalt not talk about some straight up shoe drip. I've never seen As if the, these easy, are Have the you wheat, ever seen those? Yeah. These are wheat 13. I've never seen the wheat ones. They're called the wheat 13. Those are nice, though. Are yeah. they? Yes. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm though, boy. I'm partial to 13s, though, so yeah. that's probably and you, I stayed and you up. have that jean jacket on, too, so they're tasty. Mm. You don't have no room no for fashion <laughs> for advice, real. okay? I'm I'm real. Real. When, matter of fact, when your wrist is stopped being green, come talk to us. Yeah, seriously. Well, once we said echo. You should have <laughs> <laughs> <should've> sat out. It's <laughs> like, all right, y'all got me sick. Okay, you guys, this first topic of the day is buffets versus plated meals. Mm. Easy call. This one, I had a recent, a recent uh, situation that changed my viewpoint on buffets. I used to be a buffet killer. I know it's hard for you guys to believe. I used to knock down no, buffets. No, 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 no. no that's As a matter of fact, when I imagine you. <laughs> I imagine you <laughs> as slicing the buffet up. Okay. But no, I recently got food poisoning because I went to a to a uh, buffet and I ate the food and I was with my, one of my homeboys. He was like, why do you eat at buffets? Just think about the theory of a buffet. They put the food out there. People just pick over it, breathe over it, cough over it, and then you go and eat that shit. It's really fucking disgusting. Right. And what do you think is happening in kitchens? Yeah, I'm like, yeah. you don't you don't see that. But they yeah. don't do that. No, no. no. Did, you know that actually, did, did you know that every it? piece of the world is breathed on at this point? <laughs> right. <laughs> but no, <laughs> yeah. no it's actually, wait, it's, you don't get food poisoning from a buffet because people are breathing on it. You get on there because they didn't keep the temperatures right. Right, and that, they just sit it out there. But, like, what if you went to, like, a Golden Corral or a hometown buffet? Like, there kids be, be no out there touching food and shit. Golden sneezes. Corral yeah. slander. Yeah, it's it's really and disgusting. And they have sneeze guards, but if you're shorter than a sneeze guard, then your sneezes are not being guarded. Exactly. Let me ask you a question, uh, <laughs> Doughboy. So you're done with with buffet? I think I'm done with buffet. Are you gonna? You're not even gonna give us a farewell buffet tour. <laughs> you're gonna just be, uh, and let me ask you a question: Are you gonna? Are you gonna go to your favorite buffet? Are you gonna get your jersey put up in the raffle? I might have, go out the right see, way. No, no, no. The spot that I came up in was a spot. You see like all your highlights, all your highlights of you like crossing over the crossing over the salad and going straight to the potato. You know what I'm saying? The ball is tipped. Wow. All these restaurant owners are. <laughs> he was a good one. He was one of the best that ever did it. But, see, but this is where I'm kind of torn, though, because with, with when you have buffet, you can get as much food as you want as many times as you want. You're not necessarily going to get full from a plated item when you're exactly. a man of the girth. So that's why I'm kind of you know, not if you be have a big if you had a big plate like full of food. No, because I, I mean I, it's not many plates in my heyday that would knock me down from one plate. <laughs> okay, well, I mean you up. get an appetizer and then you get your meal. But you got some I places that more. got like endless pancakes, right? But it's not buffet. We were really so you have talking to about ask that earlier. For more, right? <laughs> but at some point, don't you get sick of asking? Like, I don't want you to know that I'm on my sixth pancake <laughs> plate. Well, that's you know the whole saying? point. And that's why I like buffets. That's why I'm 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 I'm, I'm for the buffet. Really? really? So you don't mind really? that people are like hmm. spitting and like coughing that's and usually like usually not the case, but have it, it hepatitis. Is gross. Well, on here's their the thing. Hands. Here's the thing. S certain buffets offer things like crab legs. Right? Mm. I don't know if I trust that. Oh, I don't trust uh, them. Sushi do buffets are crab weird. legs at Crab legs at a buffet? Hell yeah. yeah I've I had used that. to always get that. Yes. And then they were dry. Uh, they were so dry. They were like stuck to the shell. I saw them like, I'm and good. And the sushi at buffets be You eating sushi too. anywhere? Yeah, I be eating sushi at buffets. You never had sushi buffets? Hell no. Sushi buffets be lit. No, don't do that. You can get the tempura. I don't know why that's weirder than other stuff, but it is. What we're not talking about is where are we? Because both. That matters for both. If you're at a cheap buffet 
yes, that's probably going to be the 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 places that people are sneezing. Old people are got drip dripping stuff out their face. Oh, God. Yeah. But what? if you go to the real buffets or good, you know, expensive buffets like, like at like at like a like at a golf resort. I got sick at a very well renowned. There yeah, is, actually, but there's it's, dirty. It's no, no, no. I will tell you this. There's probably if you're going to like a, a golf resort, I think of like old white men. Those are the main ones that don't be washing their hands yeah. when they come out the bathroom. They're the saying, dirtiest ones, they're, picking I'm their nose. I'm just saying the the the, <laughs> the ambiance will probably be switched out more often. I feel you. The and food the, is the food probably is better. But you got to think though, is... that cheap buffet mm-hmm. is set up like a buffet with the sneeze guards mm-hmm. and at least that. When you go to like a brunch, it be out. It's just out, out. because this is like yes. their one day to do it. If if you're at a place that needs sneeze guards, that means they've seen it happen all day, and they're like, "We gotta do no, something." No, 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 no. That's, that's, that's just experience. experience no, no, no. That's right. not that. You have to do that actually by law. If you have like at certain places, if you have a buffet and it's like you have X amount of stores, so it's not it's like a franchise basically. We have more than one place. You have to put that up. That's part of like also, health code. I don't give a damn about a sneeze guard. If I was about to grab some food and I saw a nigga go, "I do it." And it just hit the guard. I'm not gonna be like, well, at least it's safe. <laughs> I'm get the fuck out of there. That's still nasty. I'm but, not still. I'm nah, still not. Doing I think it. I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna be like, sneeze guard did his job. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And it's not even. And the sneeze guard ain't the worst part. It's really the people's dirty hands touching yes. the little the and ladles and picking over stuff. your food. Mm-hmm. And another thing about buffets, a lot of times there there's never something there that's really good. Yeah, it's right. always it's just it's, it's right. shit. That ice cream is Sometimes bomb. Like I it's said, like, it yeah, depends on where you at. About four things that's like hometown buffet. The best thing is like the bread of their like they're uh, like I've never that's been what I'm there. hometown buffet. That's what I'm talking about. If you go to like a good place, like I've had the best mashed potatoes I've ever had at a, a buffet. Sometimes you go up to the wow. person. Sometimes at buffets, so there's people there that will like cut, cut the, the meat. That should be fire. or like make an omelet for you, yeah. like oh, that yeah. kind of stuff. Omelet yeah. bars yeah. rock. At, at, at like a hotel, that that buffet Ooh, is fire. Yeah, sort yes. of like those ah. brunch those brunch uh, buffets where you can get an omelet or you can get like eggs Benedict. That kind of stuff is good. Once you start getting into like seafood. And like where mm-hmm. there's like sushi or like crab and stuff, that's when I feel like it gets a little. But well, what about pizza buffets? Pizza buffets be lit, like John's Incredible Pizza. Oh, like our CC's pizza. CC's. Yeah. 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 about CC's for the five. Uh, buffet for pizza. I've never I mean, done kids that. love it, of course, because it's pizza. But I mean, it's affordable. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait. Disgusting. What about venues? So, what if it's like a wedding? Would you rather go to a wedding mm, that has a buffet yeah. or a plated meal that, wedding? That Ooh. I'm not too picky on. I don't know events, the wedding, they prep but there's no events sneeze guards. <laughs> but they prepping that, and like I know that's going to be catered really though. It's catered. And a so big catered. Thing is that it's happen for your you're not even ever expecting. That's right. the thing. It's if it's for, for your, your group, that's different. It's not out all day. Mm-hmm. Right. That's Circulating. True. That's it's, true. It was just brought out. Y'all that's do it. True. If there was a sneeze, you probably see it because you were there. <laughs> but see, the the, the 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 one issue that I will give to plated food though is that if there's anything about your food that you don't like, you're just stuck unless you're going to send this shit back and look like an asshole. No, no, no. Well, so it's like you got to eat. You, you got to get what you get and not throw a fit when you get a, a plated meal. But you do the same thing for buffets. You send it back, but you're just the nigga that sends it back. So you, have to, you, have to, like, you have to get up and like do it. You walk it back and complain to this motherfucker. They don't it's know the what they thing. like. It's just like you work there. Yeah. <laughs> that is this better? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Can I please sit down? Thank you. The only, the only uh, con I have about buffets is it's overwhelming and I what? will like option, it's, it's, option it's, overload. Option, option it's, like, it's like Netflix for eating. Yeah, and then I that's come to my point. plate, I got right. spaghetti and fried rice and tacos and tacos. Yes, and tacos but, and like, but you, you and have, it's a bunch of shit that don't match. That's <laughs> okay. That's that's but I want point. all of it. Hey, you oh. know what really heat me up about buffets? What heat you up? Is the fact that they gotta bring you your drink. Like, where the fuck is the Mountain Dew at? And let me get it myself. <laughs> that is a fact. I thought about it. But I just, that's the only thing they wait on you for. What do you mean? You want another drink? Yes, and I've been wanting it for a long time. But I just thought about the ultimate neutralizer for buffets and I got one word and me and Pat talked about this briefly oh, over God. the weekend Not a drum roll. Sizzler I just said S- no, no, that no, buffet is terrible oh, Sizzler oh, they, oh, they are, Sizzler with the, the cheese you toast bar for the, low oh, bar. You the tacos, chicken wings the chicken wings the, tacos, the cheese man. toast nachos, the, the cheese spaghetti. toast it's delicious, delicious. I was just, was just there it was disgusting bruh I took my auntie it's lit I'm telling you, it's lit. She got the salad bar too. She's it's over fire. there with ta- shit that didn't match tacos, tacos and wings. And spaghetti. They got chicken, chicken noodle soup. 
Yeah. Sizzler. Yeah. Soda on the side. Yeah. Soda on the side. And their mm. and their chicken wings are fire there. No. I, had I, had I, I just had a steak there that was gum flavored. So wait. <laughs> that, shit, that shit took 16 hours to chew and swallow. Oh. Yeah, a spearmint steak. <laughs> <laughs> you say gum well, flavored. listen. When you do Sizzler, don't get the lobster tails. Don't get the steak. No, nah, you get the salad bar. Just get the salad bar. With the so cheese. Wait, so wait. What is better salad, about fire. that? So you're so okay. You with, don't mess with Sizzler? Wait, wait, wait. No, I don't. So w- would you rather go to the buffet at Sizzler and then possibly get... Uh, whatever what, food poison or whatever you had, or would you rather go someplace that has a plate of food? No, I, w- I would, I would take the chance for Slizzer. Their c- their cheese toast is that fire. Man, You're gonna get food poisoning for fire. cheese toast. Yeah, tell me, know, tell me a cheese toast. Good. Good. I'm not pro it. buffet anyway, so Sizzler is right up my alley. I'm, I'm <laughs> anti buffet, but I would make an exception for Sizzler. Sizzler, uh, in my it's hood. that good. I actually like seafood buffets. I'm not gonna lie. Yes, like, Wait, specifically, buffets? like the ones that did have like has sushi and stuff. When I think about buffets, I'd be like, oh, those are the kinds that I would go to if I go and to a buffet. And the crab legs, you have to circle that bitch like, like it's like musical oh, yeah, chairs. Yeah, yeah. it just be circling, waiting mm-hmm. for them to bring the fresh ones out. Mm-hmm. And then, I bet, because they're gone as soon as yep. they get but there. The, yeah, well, you got to get the fresh ones. Me yep. and my family get plates and plates of them, and we guard, and we have, like, plays that we run. <laughs> <laughs> and we, like, block families Y'all out. playing, the, you got the wild card two, option. Run two, go get yeah, the exactly. <laughs> We do, like, like, a little pick and pop. You, you know? did a little <laughs> a flank yeah, route. Yeah, <laughs> Wow. Drawing up plays? I don't know. I, don't know. I, th- I think that you can't go wrong with ordering something that you want, then bringing it out fresh for you. Mm-hmm. But and, you're and taking and a but chance. He, but here's, well, here's the thing. I, so chance? I worked at a five-star restaurant in L.A., like, and I will tell you this. After that, I realized that no food is clean. Well, okay? I know you know. I, I understand that they Nothing might be doing clean. some fuck shit I've in the back. I've seen them, what they do in the back. It is disgusting. First I of don't all, believe make that. sure you box your own food up. Don't ever let... Why, don't, that's the second time you said that. Can wow. you, ex- can you ever, explain okay. a little so bit more, let me tell you what happens. So what happens, is, especially them, at a five-star restaurant, you say, hey, I'd like to take this to go. Usually, if it's a fancy restaurant, they say, oh, I'll take your food for you. I'll box it for you. What happens, they have a station in the back where they box your food. Usually, it's not your waiter boxing because they have, they've got other tables that they got to do stuff, right? So it's like a bus boy in the back or somebody that like is a food runner somebody else mm-hmm. usually boxes up your and food your because shit. yeah and so that's what they will they, do because i your food absolutely absolutely so you've seen you, people I've chewing seen other people's a man food. take a piece of a dude's steak that he had cut up he took one of the pieces and ate it and boxed the rest nigga I've bring you your food back with barbecue sauce all over yeah. <laughs> 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 there you go, uh, there you go. <laughs> i've seen a dude take a spoonful of mashed good. potatoes good of the choice. dude's food I've seen them like uh. take a bear. I've seen all so of them. So they'll come so out there like, here you go. Unless you Absolutely. don't really want it, I can take it off. <laughs> Absolutely. Which don't brings me to my next point. I'm ready for the robots to take over these jobs. I'm sick of <laughs> wow. human shit. That's seriously. No, that's like, when it comes to food prep. I need they the robots, can make it bro. so that they can season. I, mm-hmm. Listen, like uh, McDonald's, <laughs> never get your order wrong. The, the the milkshake machine is always no. Working. They're already starting like, that. In some McDonald's that you go to, milkshake machine. Yeah, in some McDonald's that you go to. I am got it on today. me. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't it more spicy? That's a robot voice. But no, like in some of the McDonald's now, like I think some of the ones at the airports, like you can just go and you don't talk to a person, yeah. you just put your order I'm ready in. For that. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. the person's still making it and they're making That's it only with a, their hateful it's hearts. It's only a matter of time and, before and, I think. And, and their bitterness from working at McDonald's. Let's not well, assume everybody's bitter. For I'm just no, excited. Ain't, no, ain't going to be no more ghetto ass videos of a full on fight behind the Popeyes. Yeah. There will be, but it'll be robots. McDonald's. Stab protocol. Ain't gonna tell him a robot. I mean, I started off initially saying that I would be anti buffet, but in the in the in the totalitarian of it all. Oh my god. I do That's think right sometimes oh when you God. yes it is totality that means all of it all no, encompassing. No, you didn't use it in the correct totalitarian, context. Totalitarian, uh, the like the area. Those are part beliefs it, typically. It's like yeah, that's that turns into like it's the a belief of yeah, or, yeah. Uh, like you are the totalitarian. <laughs> oh, okay, well in the hierarchy, of, that's how I know the beard is fake. <laughs> I just think that sometimes you can take a chance in ordering some food and you might not like it. And then you don't want to send it back. back. You ain't never I don't been to a buffet where you don't like send it back. No, I'm telling you, I don't send That's food really back, hard. and I always tip. I, have. I always tip even if they get bad service. 
Just what? because I don't want to further, nah, fam, don't do I don't want to. I don't want to create stereotypes that black people don't tip. So I'm even like if you're bad, too. I'll still yeah. tip. I, I tip don't want great. You, like, you I just tip, tip low, great. right? I tip, tip really good, oh, I and tip. I want people to make my food really good out there and make it good and make it delicious and hot and fresh and don't eat it when you buy food. Seven times. Don't eat it when you buy food. I think because of the power of cheese toast, the power of cheese toast at at Sizzler compels me to go to the buffet side. The power of cheese toast. It compels me. Wow. <laughs> it does. CP, what you voting on? I vote, oh, I vote buffet. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I like getting up and getting, you know, sometimes I like to just have a little freak fest with my food. I might have what? some salad <laughs> next to some jello. <laughs> <laughs> See, I hate when my food like, touches like, you. Like, uh, you live uh, on you the edge. You never thought. Who would have thought? You say what? You living on the edge. You put Who would have thought? <laughs> you said salad and jello? Oh, jello. <laughs> What's bro. happening, man? Let oh, me over here. God. This is how I be. At Please. Sizzle. <laughs> you know what you can do? You know what you can do? You can eat a little bit of dinner, a little bit of dessert, That's and true. nobody say shit to you. Right, right. <laughs> Buffet for mm. me. No one would say shit to you in the restaurant, though. No, no, no. They would. They'd be like, sir, you want your cheesecake? Now that little shit right there, <laughs> with the that's bread? judging like you, you want your cheesecake. Mm, now, like, yes, right bitch. <laughs> <laughs> we the buffet yeah, boys over here. Yo, you say buffet? Yeah, I swear. even after the food poisoning. Even after food poisoning, because really? wow. cheese toast is. So if there was no, if Sizzler shut down today, you then I would go to to play. Your boy lost seven pounds during that food poisoning. And he's trying to win that bet. So he's like, you know what? <laughs> I'm back. I thought about, about to lick all the spoons. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get a little, you can't let a little food poisoning get in the way or something. Oh, I've gotten food poisoning at restaurants that I still frequent. Yeah, bro. <laughs> really. Yep, I, I got food poisoning where it hurt PTSD. my feelings because I love the food so much. I'm like, oh, I want Taco Bell. Do some <laughs> shit like that. Taco Taco Bell, you just thought the industry just came Why down. Would Taco, Taco Bell? Bell don't have real meat. Did y'all know that? Okay, let's not get into it. It's yeah. a whole thing. It's not real meat, guys. Okay, At where are you point, picking, maybe. DZ? <laughs> it hit like me. Man, I'm going with the plated. Buffets are too uh, too overwhelming for your boy. Half a vote. His do rag is golden. Overwhelming? <laughs> Right. I'm going plated food, man. It's it's, Ooh, it's for you. It's two to two. Mm-hmm. It's for really? you. Okay. Ooh, You're the tiebreaker again. Uh, and, and wait, man. and, and go, you can make substitutions to your plated food. You can't you can. really do. No, you can't. Alterate. Yes, you can. You can customize. If I wanted to order a steak chimichurri and be like, yo, just throw some purple What's on chimichurri? It's, like, it's, it's the green it's sauce. sauce. It's it's the green listen, though. Listen, though. Listen, though. At a buffet, you're not taking nothing home. So nobody's taking nothing off your plate. Yes, you are. There's people who have baggies in their purse. Sorry. What's well, still? Right. You you're bag just, it yourself. <laughs> if robbery. you're stealing from a buffet, you just need to reevaluate. Yeah, you it. already had all you need. Wait, really? first of so all, we sister, grew up poor. Your cheese toast when you stole leave. chicken. <laughs> when we were growing, yeah, when we grew up, like when we went to buffet, <laughs> yeah, it was a like a, cheese toast. It was a big thing. So you know, we would go out to eat after church on Sunday, and we could only do it like once a you month. You would go to church poor. and then embezzle wings. Well, my my dad wouldn't, but my mom, yes. Embezzle. Amen. My mom would be like, she would be like, roll it up, shit. roll it up in your napkin. Your mom we was have, teaching you to do this. Yes, my yeah. Korean mother. Yeah, I didn't do that. No. Korean people be still from the buffets, only okay? The woman what? I ever knew was doing that. Like, my mom. Did y'all, ever, right. church. Did y'all ever get caught? No, because you don't take a lot of food. You just like whatever. <laughs> what do they even say to you? It's church. They're like, man. <laughs> after church. Oh, they know communion this. wins. <laughs> no, not at church. We would leave They would leave church the and then go, go steal to a restaurant. <laughs> See, I thought, I thought y'all was like, yeah, because we got caught one time. And that's the first time I saw one of my aunties go into that mold when black people steal and they have to flip it. Oh, yeah. And yeah. she gave me the look like, watch this. <laughs> like, she's like, really? I was just, because I was going to the bathroom and I didn't want anybody to steal my place. You know what? We don't need this shit. But, it was, <laughs> but, it, but it's steam coming out of your purse, man. man. <laughs> steam? We just put these out. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Ain't and then no we way. was walking out. She's like, the bed keeps people are still in here, so I said, y'all shouldn't even eat here. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, ma'am, the steam is still coming out of your purse. It's mad Potatoes coming out of your purse. She smell like fresh you weed. Limit, though. <laughs> you can't take that blame. If I, I, call the I don't know. I don't. I, I think I prefer breaker. to buy my meals plated. However, buffets do give you a big variety, so yeah. that's usually rare. It's very rare that you find something you don't like. Mm-hmm. Freak plate. Freak plate. Um, so which one you pick? Uh, I'm gonna pick buffet with yes, hand sanitizer. Yes, yes. I gotta boom, carry hand sanitizer. We yes. started boom, this first. Boom, put hand sanitizer boom, on food. Boom, no, put it on your hands. hands. The first ten minutes, we were talking about how disgusting buffets are. But cheese toast. <laughs> 
It's the cheese toast. Like 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 go eat some cheese no toast from Sizzler and change your life. When she week. said no food is clean, I knew she was on our side. She's like, guys, really? Like, it's all dirty. I was like, yeah. <laughs> all right. really won. Interesting. It yes. did. All right. We'll be right back after this. Hey, what's up, guys? This is to hear more, and this episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Y'all already know what I'm doing here, fellas. Remember back in the days at the drop of a dime, day and night, and that time was the right time. Well, you can get that back. All you have to do is check out my folks over there at Blue Chew. That's right, blue like the color blue, chew.com. Let me tell you what they do. Blue Chew is the first chew with the same active ingredients as, oh, same active same FDA active ingredients, same FDA active FDA. ingredients, F same FDA approved active ingredients. <clears throat> hey, what's up? It's to hear more, and this episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Fellas, you know why I'm here, okay? You know why I'm here. Blue Chew is what you need to look up to if you miss those days of always being ready. Anytime, day and night, then you need to look up Blue Chew, fellas. Let me tell you why. Blue Chew is the first chewable with the same FDA approved active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, okay? And because you do everything online, they have online licensed physicians. That means you don't have to make any more awkward trips to your doctor's office, no more long lines at the pharmacy. It ships directly to your house in a discreet package. That's as easy as it gets, fellas. It's chewable. Okay, to him, what's chewable mean? Chewable means you can take it anytime, day or night, because it's chewable, it starts working twice as fast. Not only that, you can take it on a full stomach, take it on an empty stomach. Like, it doesn't get any better than this. Except for maybe the fact that because you're watching it right now and you're listening, I'm going to give you your first shipment of Blue Chew for free. That's right. Free 99. All you have to do is pay $5 for shipping. Now, nothing can be better than that. All you have to do is go to BlueChew.com. That's B-L-U-E-C-H-E-W. Dot com. Use the promo code SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D-D, -D, and watch how the magic happens. You get your first shipment completely free. All you have to do is pay $5 for shipping, okay? Again, that's Bluetooth, B-L-U-E-C-H-E-W.com, promo code SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D-D. -D. You're welcome. <laughs> yes, I did. Pilot back in the seat. And... We moving on to the next topic. Wait, just say on. that like you weren't just here. Like there wasn't just another person there. Nowhere. Did you get the brisket? Yeah, you got it <laughs> in your back pocket. <laughs> That's like Give if us your some. Pilot just got there taking the shit. <laughs> yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> we are right. Kept it going. I was going to ignore. I, I thought we was going to ignore it like we did Doughboy's pants. <laughs> no, this is lit. No, no we know. They should be that. lit on fire. No, these are lit. They should be lit on fire. It looks like some white sweatpants. It's an Echo Unlimited. It looks like pieces. It looks like dolphin bacon. It should be a limit to it because Echo doesn't make clothes anymore. That's why they're retro. No. I got a plug. No. My man B. <laughs> Burling. That means they... <laughs> <laughs> Did y'all not say nothing about these pants? We, oh, nice. Nice. Oh, we talked about Jesus the pants about and we talked about you. Okay. <laughs> brisket boy. Uh, <laughs> Tier just got brisket's uh, spring collection. <laughs> <laughs> now when we cut, they the say, bank, don't be asking for none. Yeah. <laughs> so here be interviewing his meat. So how tender are you exactly? <laughs> nice, nice. Before hey, I man. eat you, <laughs> you gotta know. How tender are you? <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to the next topic, man. We have one twelve versus jagged ass. Man, this is a no brainer. I know where you gonna no go. Brainer. I know where you gonna go. Jagged Edge, the best R&B group in the history. You know, I have of a story world. about this. Okay, so I used to love One Twelve, Peaches and Cream, like mm -hmm. everything on their album. And then I was on a church van in when I was thirteen years old, mm -hmm. and we was all they were taking the youth to some like Joy Jam or some concert. Okay, and behind me, my guy brother was sitting behind me, and he was singing peaches and cream in my ear and trying to breathe on my neck and lick on my neck and I was like never again 112 this, Wait, I can't this is your that. guy brother? This is a story yes. that your guy brother tried to lick your neck? Yes. This should have stayed in the vault. He was a little kid. No, he was that. a kid that would always be trying to like push up on girls in church. And I, remember, oh. I was in like the eighth grade. You was probably like, cold as a little eighth grader like for like that age. You know what I'm saying? You know, no. This is getting weird. This is getting weird. You probably a cold ass little eighth grader. He 
was like patience and crit. Like I'm like, I can't because of that. I can't. I can't listen to 112. Like that story should have started. Yeah, yeah, it was a dark day in church camp. <laughs> <laughs> it was one time at church I was camp. Re- as I was reading Leviticus. <laughs> <laughs> You need to be laying down and paying to tell somebody that story. <laughs> but um, but no, but 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 jacket edge. I don't know why they don't get the respect that they deserve. But they can't really sing. They all can sing. They all cannot sing. They have they have a pair of what's, twins. What, the twins. What's their the names? I don't know them. You don't know their names? Exactly. Okay. He the said twins, the twins can the twins hold a note. The twins can hold a note. The other guys were there just for like protection because they needed four for to make a group. Nothing is promised. That's fire. What? That man. When you're ready to hear the opinion, let me know. Now I'm taking jagged edge all day. This is is an easy one. One twelve, man. Let him know. Let me tell you what I want to do. He can't really sing. Slim's voice is trash. Yeah, Slim actually can't really sing if you think about it. What song besides Peaches and Cream? That's real. You got Cupid. Yeah. You got one twelve. You got nice and slow. Don't they have nice and slow? They also have. They had Cupid, bro. Cupid was. Cupid Cupid was. Yeah. That way it start. Let's be honest. Let's be 100% honest. None of us listen to these niggas for real. I did. Did. At the end of the day, is, pe- is peaches and cream better than where the party at? <laughs> at the end of the it just boils down to that. No, nah, J.E. Heartbreak was a classic. J.E. Heartbreak had that album. Cuts? I don't know. What, what was that? And Hard. Heartbreak was cold. What is that? What was the song where... Uh, it had a Let's crazy get beat. No, nah, it had a crazy beat. It was on the J.E. Heartbreak. Keys to the range? None of these nah, bro. Crazy. You change. You're not the girl that used to do things. The way I it. like it was a damn shame. Yep. It is a damn shame. Keys to the range. Oh, that was cold. Oh. The, no, one no, toilet, one toilet. the only thing about where the party at is <laughs> Nelly made that song pop. Right. That's still a good song. Yeah, it was a good song. Yeah. And, and they did that. Song. St. Louis they nigga were, telling us they Nelly were on the bi- hey, hey, na, 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 Y'all forgot. Y'all forgot. They were on the Biggie Duets, and they did a song with it's Biggie. Biggie Duets. The Nasty Girl. Jack Biggie Edges didn't on know he did that. that. Was good. Uh, Here's my little Nasty Girl. <laughs> <laughs> you know how many songs Art 112 did with Biggie? Never call that a Biggie feature. Yeah. That is. People sang along and rapped in freestyle <laughs> when the beat permitted. <laughs> <laughs> like, the biggie duets. Yeah. The yeah, biggie don't, duets. Don't, don't, don't do that. <laughs> Jagged do Edge that. wins because they all skydived into parties. Remember that music video where oh, all they skydived? They, the they land in Tim's. First of all, yeah. that's very that irresponsible off. to oh, skydive when Tim's. your name is Jagged Edge. That's just like one of those things that's like, and then they hit the corner of a building. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. They called themselves Bro, Jagged Edge. Jagged Edge should win just based on the fact that they came out with a song and said, we ain't getting no younger. We might as well do it. And they're talking about getting married. That that's a, hell that's no way way. Now, I realize you took Lyric. that to heart. I did. When Martin <laughs> said that to Gina, she left. <laughs> We ain't get no younger. Yeah, yeah, we, we might as well. As well. Might that as well. was the most ridiculous thing ever. Nah, the man. most ridiculous thing ever. I like one twelve. Yeah, 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 people that can say what they trash. want about Q. You can say what you want about Q, and, but he had one of the most distinctive voices of the Yeah, night. he sang like he had somebody pointing Made a gun up. at him. He sounded like he was scared. It doesn't matter. The guy from one twelve. Yeah, you knew his voice. Like he had a sinus headache. I'm sorry, Slim. Slim from one twelve. He always sounded scared. Hey man, listen. But you knew it. You knew the voice. No one else had it. Distinctive. It's very distinctive. Very distinctive. Voice, no, but, but they, they don't even have a ton of songs outside, like you said, outside mm-hmm. of Q. You crazy? What? Yeah, you you crazy? What, what, out the top of your big head, what you got? Peaches uh, and cream. Uh, Peaches and cream. Uh, I got Cupid. 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 We said Cupid. What Cupid. else? What Cupid. else? What? Don't look there. Cupid look went here. diamond. Stop, stop, stop. Look in here. Africa. Wait, no, no, don't look there. Look here. To I here. don't. Here's the thing. You look look at me. Your face hits. leaves me speechless. I don't want to look at that because your grill is scary. Okay, you have no anywhere. You remember the way Diddy? They were dancing in that video. Don't. Boom, 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 boom. That isn't jogging that's, my yeah. memory that's, at all. That's anywhere. <laughs> we can do it in Ooh. the shower. Uh, yeah. See, I didn't like that. Yes, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't like it. Yeah. Let, let, like let me tell you why. Let me tell you why I hated that song. Because you can fit on exactly. any of the places. Exactly. So it did not. Per- it didn't apply to me. I wasn't able to have sex in no shower. How? Listen. Y'all heard, uh, y'all you heard it. You got to go somewhere where it's like a... Never mind. <laughs> what is hot and wet? A song that we never heard. No, that's the that one. sounds a that's, chicken these are, these are like some of their biggest songs oh, I've never heard of. Oh, wet. You maybe want to sweat. You know, you know. Nah, 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 nah. No. Nigga, nah, nah, a, nah, that's nah. A, that's a classic. So we got Anywhere. We got Cupid. Hot and we wet. We got, okay, let me pull up Jacket Edge. Um, we have um, Only You. The remix song is Only You. Only You is hard. You got It's Over Now. You got You Already Know. Anywhere. Mm-hmm. 
Um, yeah, anywhere. Yeah. All right, and then with 112, you got Let's Get Married, Promise, I Gotta Be. I forgot Begging about Gotta Be. Songs. Where the they Party At. on my nerves. Walked Out of Heaven, I forgot about that. He Wait, Can't Love You, forgot about that. Edge? This is Jagged Edge. Oh, you said one niggas sound like some haters, and they sound like some beggars. Healing. I don't want, like, they had some songs. They both bro. have, like, six fire tracks that everybody knows. Give me 112. I would take six? them, I would take them That's Jagged That's saying a lot. Give me 112. That's saying a lot in the span of 10 years that they were both out. Both groups were out for, like, twins. 10 years. Yeah. No, I'm saying, I, I think six would be a lot to say. Uh, they might have three heavy songs each. No. no uh, Jagged Edge, yeah. no. Anywhere, 112 and only you, like, are bangers, and then you, you got to put we Cuban didn't even, in there. I didn't even say Peaches of Cream. Peaches of Cream is for Everybody knows those. Oh, and there's uh, Apples and Leche. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> what about the song? Shut up. What, what about the song Promise from Jagged Edge? <laughs> Baby, I promise. Oh, yeah. That song would have been the thing, though. That song would have nope. been great if they could sing. They can't that sing. That was like they a voice to men song. Uh, just, just it's not like it's written for voice yeah, to men. They have great songs, and but they, they're not really good. They're they, not they had singers. the Walked Out of Heaven song. You Feels like I just that. walked out you of heaven. That. I did you're not, not going to say that. You're not going to keep running no, that. Key, I, that was a good song. I, I said like Promise that. before that. I didn't say that song. You said Walked Out of Heaven before Promise. No, I did not. I don't be knowing these guys like that. All right, up the tape. Funny Feelings, Strawberry, All Cried Out. I just didn't a- like how Slim, I couldn't understand some of the words sometimes because he was really whiny. Mm-hmm. And like there's this one intro on there that it goes like, Cute Mike Slim Duran. That's their name, oh, right? Oh, that's the interlude. Well, that right, it's the, and, and the interlude goes hard. But I'm going to tell you, it wasn't until like five years ago that I realized that's what he was saying. I thought they were saying, you might sin tonight. This is what you Because he's... You might sin tonight? Yes. I thought I was like, oh, it's what happened they were at gospel this church R&B no, singers, no, you I nerd. It was, a nasty, <laughs> it was a nasty song. That's why they were saying that. So I was like, okay. And then it, and then my friend was like, wait a minute. What you just say? She like, stop the interlude. I hate the hell that was a nasty song to you. <laughs> you might sin tonight. <laughs> You're not gonna be sin I knew immediately. <laughs> I knew immediately that. How do you not understand when he says "Q Mike Slim"? I'm Duran. telling you, I, we I don't children. be hearing lyrics. I don't be hearing no, lyrics. No, but right. me and Meg are the same age. I like, didn't know Peaches right. and Cream was about uh, sex till I was a uh, teenager. Really? Th- I thought they were they were just taking food into the bedroom, <laughs> <laughs> eating actual I, peaches. I, I, I thought, I thought it, was? it was about that too. No? I'm not gonna lie, I did. I still didn't know like the, apparently the a peach is a vagina. Oh, I get it now. Oh, sorry. A vagina that's I coming. I don't know the lyrics. I just wasn't really. He said a vagina that's coming. Yeah. Oh, I um, never knew that till right now. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I used, I used to think it was like lot. them bringing peaches and cream into the bedroom. That's what I thought. The that's whole peaches and have, cream because okay. Yeah, they have that in the video where they have like peaches and cream. That's why I thought. I was like, oh, this is delicious. When the video came out, I was at that point. Well, like I was past 106 of Park, so I had stopped watching videos. Like I was just oh, yeah. was buying CDs, so I didn't. Yeah, I never watched the vision. I thought I was older than you. I'm th- I'm 35. Yeah, I'm older than you. I stopped watching. I stopped watching a lot of stuff. Early. A 60, I do. <laughs> I got a zoo. Yeah, I was no, working because 106 Apart came on the time where I had to be at work. I had to be at white. <laughs> no, so here is this old oh, for this Christmas. He gave me like two records. He really bought me two records and gave them to me. I was. He like, didn't buy them. He had them in his. I was just like, no, I, I did not know what to do with them. I was like, okay, thank you. I still have them, but I'm like, Bro, what do I do with these records? Buy a record player. Now I need a record player. He should have brought you some big ass woogie boogie sweatpants. I don't like I don't fuck with nobody. Them, though, really? You know, like them, though, boy. You know, you of all people would have liked them. Why would I like them right. dirty, cute, fashion, fans? They're they're fashion forward. To hear only they wear delivery behind. man clothes. <laughs> are they ca- are they camo? <laughs> yeah, they're like camo, but like when you're in the snow, like you know, like the Navy SEALs be in the no. snow. That's they just wear a this. Seal. What snow? Shut up, man. Put your thing. <laughs> He's okay. trying to hide in a snow cone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so listen. We, I think we got just about everybody's opinion, but we didn't get uh, Pat. We didn't get yours. Where, where, where you at? Where, where you I following? Mean, I'm going with Jagged Edge. Uh, <laughs> You're not Pat. You're not Pat. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Shut your face. <laughs> I'm going to say uh, Jagged Edge for the mere fact that they skydived in Tim's. Yeah. <laughs> so it has nothing to do with the music. Where the you party at? I bitch. would listen to Where the Party at before Peaches and Cream. <laughs> okay. What about Cupid though? Come on, bro. I don't Cupid? know what that is. Cupid. Don't. Doesn't you're trying to ruin it for him. Oh yeah. But you don't for know sure, Jagged Edge. Yeah. <laughs> you did that. <laughs> I hate Slim's nasally voice. Yeah, that. Was he does sound weird. like a kid getting in trouble in the next room. Like, <laughs> go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man. What about you? Where you at with it? Um, I'm gonna go. Okay, with so Hezekiah only- Walker. <laughs> 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 you gonna sin tonight? Uh, <laughs> 
I read that. You want to sit tonight? It works, <laughs> never... it works, don't it? Yes, but it's ridiculous. It Why would they? Like the whole album they talk about fucking, and then they gonna say you go to sit tonight. That's what I'm saying. Duh, you about to be out here doing some simple Angel on stuff, the girl. shoulder. That was the self. Okay, oh, look, God. that's what I thought. Anyway, who said you gonna sit tonight? That's that, what I thought. The interlude. They, I thought the, that's the what they interlude were goes. Q Mike Slim to run. That's right. what it says. She thought they said you might slim. You had to sing it. C Mike Slim to run. I sound Q Mike Slim to run. Mike Slim to run. Yes. Right. I right. really look. Okay. Who you gonna go with? Um, because you of Slim's voice. Meg was so she was so like triggered back then. Like, oh, I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I love that song though. But um. Because I don't like Slim's voice, and I actually have J.E. Heartbreak in rotation in my car currently. Like, I leave it in the, I have like a Because it's a classic. It is a classic. I will say that. J.E. Heartbreak. you have a CD I'm player in your car, though? No, no. It's, it's got like, you know, like a, I mean, it's a 2016. It has like the six CD chain. You just Killing leave it them with the six, six track it's just, it, I mean, I don't know. I just left it in there because it's a really good CD, and I love it. Um, even so though it's burning. Don't let this nigga with still these own CDs. Old. Don't let this nigga with actually, these fans even, old song to you Wait, like you that. still own CDs? You be oh, like. No, no. I have like, <laughs> only the six. process was trash. No, no, no. It's a six, so they're always in there. I just, I've never taken them out. Oh, you just never out. Yeah, and then the the six that I are in there. I still own CDs too. And yeah. the J.E. Heartbreak is like, this, I'm it. sad to say, it is a pirated one. It was like a burnt copy. You got a bootleg still, version of J.E. Heartbreak still, in your car. And, and then who buys real bang. ones right now? You right. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to go with Jagged Edge. Yeah. All right, CP. 112, fam. All right. 112. I ain't, I ain't got nothing else to say. You know what I'm saying? I ain't know Slim had a nasally voice. Y'all said it. And now that I think about it, he do. But, you know what I'm saying? 112, they had the hits to me. Cupid meant a lot to me. Yeah. Um, you know what I'm saying? I used to do this thing where I used to like girls and then never have met them or say nothing to them and just stare at them. And so Cupid was to be in my head and I'd be like, ooh, and then they would never know. No, because they would be looking at you like, he's trying to rape me. Ugh. Oh, God. You'd be yeah. looking like, because you that just stared at me. I wouldn't be that staring like that, though. I would do the look away, look away, look away, look away, <laughs> look away, look away. She's not a young CP away. just staring at a girl. <laughs> With those the big Cupid, eyes. <laughs> With those eyes. Right to the girl just, yeah, let's yeah, leave. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you won't know unless you give us a try. What? I don't know. It's just in my head. That was my style. Uh, that kid never says anything. <laughs> <laughs> but he just stares at me with his but big frog eyes. I need it because you know that I'm a fiend. Wait, what? I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah, man. <laughs> so, I'm going with Jagged Edge. Jagged Edge? Wait, Jagged Edge? Fuck it. Y'all clown me for You old suck ass. <laughs> Fuck it. Fuck it. You should have got in on it. Nah, <laughs> nah. You know what? I'm, I'm going to hold it down for the real ones. I'm going to stick true. To 112, where the players dwell. Come on, bro. No battle line goes hey, with that. Fuck 112. But Biggie <laughs> said that. 112 uh, didn't even say that. Biggie said it doesn't matter. Me out. It was I, used to, I said, used to stare at them girls. And it, it, it was like it was like a look away. Like, I'm looking at my butt, look at her, looking at my butt, look away. And then when she looked, I don't look. You don't want to look yeah, at her. Yeah, but a look for you is like three looks. So. <laughs> yeah. Those are some big, you have some, big eyes. You have some intense <laughs> eyes. They're very intense. You were singing 112. They were looking at you singing, Jeepers, Jeepers. Where'd you get those That's Jeepers? Funny. That's funny. <laughs> look, he's loaded up right now. Look, look, this is loaded up. Oh, no, no. no. Yeah, 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 all right. Yeah. Going on, dog. Going on. Going on. Going on. Going on. Going on. Going why you got to laugh about it? I was stunned on him. <laughs> you parked your staff on him. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late, everybody. Put them in the park. Get my coffee. Anybody see my crayons? I, I was thinking of 112, but it looks like Jagged Edge has it. Because haters switched up on us. Fuck 112. I thought for sure no. you were going to up, nigga. After I got let go on a church camp? No. Uh, okay. Stop bringing right, this so dark listen. shit in here. We're going to get on to this Look, last. Freaky ass Chinese church you was in. <laughs> last the black and, church. Last black and church. final. Last and final topic. <laughs> she was at a little anime church. <laughs> 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 <It's an animation. laughs> I look at my sister, yeah. Praise the Lord! Ah, you my sister, I look Praise at my sister. Praise the Lord! <laughs> they be like, man, you can move. She be like, oh, okay. <laughs> All right, we'll get on to this last topic right after oh, this. Man. Boom. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy to hear more. I'm not going to be before you very long. Listen, just here to tell you about something real quick. It's called Hawthorne, all right? 
Now listen, fellas, if you ever worn cologne and you're not like really big on it, I get it. All right. Some some guys just you just don't know. And there's nothing wrong with not knowing. All right. That's why Hawthorne exists for guys that don't know exactly what you like. You know you like to smell good, but you don't know how to do it. Hawthorne makes it so easy for you. They have a two-minute quiz. All you have to do is just put in all the stuff that you like, all the things that you think you like, all the smells, you put that in, where you like to go, when you go out, what type of places you like to hang out in. Is it a bar? Is it a club? Is it a lounge? When you go out, there's a lot of people. Are you the life of the party? All of those type of things are the things that you answer. And from that, they'll determine what scent is best for you. Now you have a custom scent, something when you go out, people recognize you because of that scent. What's better than that? Absolutely nothing. The days of using like Polo Blue and all of that stuff from high school, X Body Spray, who, like seriously, who's walking around using chocolate X Body Spray? That's just, that's literally a little scary. It's ridiculous. The point that I'm trying to make is it's time to grow up, right? And part of growing up is changing your life. Changing your life means evolving, all right? And evolve into Hawthorne, all right? Because you guys are listening right now, I'm going to hook you up. I'm going to give you 10% off of your first purchase. That's right, 10%. All you have to do is use the promo code SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D-D. -D. That's SQUAD. That easy. All you have to do is go to Hawthorne, H-A-W-T-H-O-R-N-E dot co. That's Hawthorne with the E dot C-O, all right? Enter our promo code, squad, S-Q-U-A-D, and go ahead and get hooked up. You will thank me for this. Why? Because people are going to notice. When you start walking around with a scent that only you smell like, people are going to take note of that. And you know what you're going to think? Man, Tahir is right. I'm so thankful he's in my life. And you know what? You're welcome. All right, guys. Last one of the day. Who has the better catalog of movies? Nick Cannon versus Bow wow. Oh, wait, hold on. Wow. I can't hear you over my wilding out tattoo. Uh, this oh one's going to be easy. You got fired, <laughs> nigga. I couldn't hear you over my tattoo. Right. <laughs> couldn't hear you over my wilding out five The fact that tattoo. the tattoo couldn't keep your job. <laughs> <laughs> you understand how, how, how fucked up that wow. is? You was like, I'm fired? Did y'all remind Nick what? that I got the tattoo? <laughs> oh, he knows? Okay, he said, that's cool. why you're fired. <laughs> no, he didn't want that type of commitment. This easy, though. I mean, Drumline is easily better than any movie Bow Wow has ever been associated with. Even the lottery ticket? First lottery ball. ticket. I'm broke, nigga. Like Mike. <laughs> you, uh, did you not remember Bow Wow's broke, Oscar performance <laughs> in Fast and Furious? Are you going to overlook that? What about Roll Bounce, though? Like it was Mike? Ball about what they Oscar bought? performance. <laughs> yeah, this that's... nigga was talking to a nigga named Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> Oscar performance, like he said. Oh, man. <laughs> A Cannon Nick Cannon, Award. Nick Cannon also did Love Don't Cost a Thing and The that Underclassman and Chirac. Love Ooh, Don't Cost a Thing, he should have he yes. should have not had Love that hair. Love Don't Cost a Thing, I ain't like how he had his shoes around his neck when he was on the beach. Fuck that movie. That movie wait, was hold on. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, that one, that one scene? Was, I was like, get him off your neck. <laughs> Ah, he just had it like sand all down Ooh, his I didn't chest. think about underclassmen. Nick Cannon, the underclassmen. Y'all remember that when he went? Yes. That yeah. was good. Ooh, American Why Son. Is, American is, Son, he was lit in that. Why is Beef 4 listed as one of Bow Wow's movies? What? Remember the Beef series? Oh, oh my yeah, God. Yeah, because he, he was beefing with uh, Soldier Boy or something like that. Oh, that's right. I, I watched mean, all the Beefs. Oh, King uh, of the Dance Hall. Did y'all watch that, though? That was no. fire. Was it? It I really comes oof. down to wait, wait, wait. Like my <laughs> oh, no, wait. Don't ever listen to Doughboy's wow. recommendation of that was fire because Why? there's a video around oh, where he right. gives oh. his opinion <clears throat> of uh, Wakanda Forever. Yes, Black, Black Panther. Panther. He went dressed up and everything. And I did. Like, oh, it's the best movie ever. So action packed. And then literally weeks ago, because, was like, oh, I wasn't impressed. And let me clear that up because I did that on all death. When the movie came out, because I am so involved with the culture, I want, and it was a big moment for the culture. I was like, yeah, this is super dope. But as I thought about it, I was like, this movie really ain't that good. And to be mm. fair, we wanted like a movie, a movie review. Uh, IP so that like you know mm -hmm. exactly. it, was, it was a play so exactly. I get it right. how, how did you really feel about Black Panther Pat? It was dope but it it, it was one of the movies that wore off like yeah. it was such a big thing for the culture I saw it like three times in theaters super dope 
I don't be watching it. Like yeah, that. it's like yeah, it's just. Actually, it's I watched cool. it again recently, and I saw yeah, a bunch yeah. of stuff that I didn't see ori- what, what, originally. What, 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 what? Black, Black Panther. Panther. You liked it? Yeah, I liked it a lot. I like watched watched it at home for the first time. I was like, oh, actually, there's a bunch of stuff that happened here that out. I didn't realize. Yeah, it's, 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 it's just not as lit as I it's believe. Still, it was tight though. But nah, but I feel like Nick Cannon is a more established. Like, cause I don't, I don't think Bow Wow, and that's no not no shot to Bow Wow, but does he ever act seriously in movies? Like Mikey was a kid. Like most of his movies, he was a kid, so he was like a kid actor. Like he don't do like drama well. Like oh, uh, Medea's big happy family. Uh, I think I think in Roll Bounce he was dealing with like family issues. Oh yeah, he was. Well, that's was. the thing. Nick Cannon was in Roll Bounce too. <laughs> right. They literally, literally said together. one thing and nobody was like, "Oh, you're right. You're right." <laughs> I'm like, "Oh, yeah, he was." <laughs> can, I, can I just ask the question? Like, has yeah, he done seriously? He, he said. So I was like, "Yeah." Oh, wait. It really comes down to: Do you guys like like Mike more than Drumline? No, no, no. What? No, yes, not no. at all. Okay. Then fast and furious like was lottery ticket. Yeah. I feel like I feel he like he cut like his hair Mike for Drumline. Wait, Bow Wow was, movie, was in all about was the Benjamins. Yeah. He was, that wasn't a Bow Wow movie though. Role. No, he was in. Oh, okay. So wait, do you do you like uh, Fast and Furious best or what? No, I think that um, I think Road Bounce was a classic, and I think that. But Nick uh, Cannon cancels that out because he's in yeah. that too. Right, but. That's like saying Bow Wow was an all about the bit. Nick Cannon had a small role in it. It was a, it was a it was a Bow Wow movie though. My Bow True, Wow drove yeah. the movie. Yeah, he did. He did. Um, but are you are you taking that over Drumline? No, I'm not. But I'm saying that that's Bow Wow's most comparable movie to Drumline. Um, I think that honestly, Lottery Ticket, Brandon T. Jackson got off a little bit more. He yeah. did. Than Bow Wow. Right. And so with with that alone, I think that if you're gonna have another actor kind of outshine you mm-hmm. in it then that probably doesn't you know what i'm saying help your argument are we counting love don't cost a thing as absolutely. absolutely that's yeah. a great movie they i never played, seen they, it yeah. Yeah. oh really they played, they played they played on TV that's actually time. a lot of Syndication. people don't know it's actually a remake of a movie because there's a movie i think it was called can't buy me love with patrick dempsey and that's a remake and of a movie a, that was called love cost two for three dollars <laughs> 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 i never but, seen underclassmen Underclass that's was, a good was movie. Fire. That's what I I'm saying. Never saw that. I never Nick saw got raised. Nick can I do think comedy, I'm a, or I'm he can get this to you. At that age, not like <laughs> at, at that age, it was it was a good movie. Yeah. I mean, I thought for, for me, Drumline will always be one of those movies where, um, no matter what part of the movie I catch it on, no matter what like channel or outlet that's on, I'm gonna sit and watch it for as long as I can. Like right. if I got mm-hmm. to be, mm-hmm. it's 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 one of those movies. It's not a lot of movies that give me that feeling like. Matrix coming to America, Harlem Nights, right. Drumline, mm-hmm. but it's it's like probably under twenty movies that give me that feeling. I don't have one thing from Bow Wow that that creates that hey, type of. Hey, you know what's crazy Boom. though? No. Drumline, Nick was a cool ass nigga in Drumline. Yeah. Right, like you almost forget that it's Nick who like getting everybody nervous doing. But even though Nick is a right. nigga, on I think that's what his. But Nick, it was but his like, that was like that yeah. was like his biggest like. That's where we're like, oh, you could do yeah, this. Yeah, I think yeah, that that's yeah. one of the biggest dopest things that Nick does is like because people will think that he's like a joke. Or he's but it's like Nick is like really like that cool ass dude, but yeah. like he'll be like he's so good at taking a joke, you forget that this is his show, right. he put it together and he hired everybody there to be there working but with him. But it's not who's like who do you like better between Nick Cannon and Bow Wow, it's just movies. So I would I don't even think you can count Wildin' Out, but that that is that is true because I think that Drumline stuck in black culture a little bit more than Wait, like Mike. Not yes. to mention Even rappers not, not to mention him with right. the stick right. all not the time. to mention him <laughs> acting opposite Zoe Saldana. Oh yeah. In her first yes. role yes. and what she netted out to be uh-huh. and back then it was like man who the fuck is this girl? Yeah. Honest as hell. Fact. Oh, man. And then, and then like to be honest though that movie not only felt good for like like the culture and and seeing so many black faces on the screen, but it also made you excited about college. Like, yeah. I was in college That's when it fact. came out, yeah. and I was like, man, I'm so glad I'm going to HBCU. That's Although it, it oversold it for the niggas on the West Coast, we saw that, and then we went to college. We were like, where's the football? Well, <laughs> football you had to go to where's HBCU. You had to go to a black school. You had to go to HBCU. Right. No, I went to a that PWI, had, but it was a, big enough to be felt. It felt like a black school. Yeah. A and I had a little mentee. I remember school. she a was mentee. in like a, a mentee. I was like, maybe I was in high school, whatever. In college, and she was, I think, about to go to high school. She was like, "I cannot wait to go to uh, Atlanta A and T." And I was like, "Baby, it's not a real school. It's only yeah. on Drumline. That ain't not a real hey, school." Hey, no. there are tons of people that thought Hillman was real too. I thought Hillman was real. Did I say it was made up? Yes, Atlanta, I thought, Los Angeles. I thought Hillman was made up. A&T is I mean, I thought Hillman was real. I Drumline, was real. Drumline was so dope. That they tried to mock that storyline for step stomp the yard, yes. it, almost to a T, wow. and it didn't work because it weird. was just the magic between Nick, Nick and, and Zoe. I was fact. like, Chris yeah. Brown dead already? Yeah, he Remember was. Five that? that was like, but think about it. That movie was Amner. 
another movie that did that. All about the Benjamins did that to um, Money Talks. The exact plot line. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so you know what they do is they take it. It's like a like a template. Mm-hmm. You know, so you could tell when a movie. That, yeah, but that's those are the hit movies that do that. That become that template. Though. I liked all about the Benjamins though. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I, I, but I, I, but really I like Money it. Talks mm. though. And if you, I, I love Money I, Talks. I, I always get talk, them mixed up. Money Talks was yeah, so <laughs> it was similar, so yeah. crazy because. The the opposites were so opposites. Like in, in All About the Benjamins, you got Ice Cube opposite of Mike Epps. You got the straight man and the funny guy. But like, you know, this is still Ice Cube. This is still Friday Ice Cube. This mm-hmm. is still Friday, n- next Friday and Friday after next Ice Cube. But you got Charlie C- Sheen. And like Chris and, Tucker. and Chris Tucker. Yeah. You got a really straight man. man. And it, ah! Yeah, yeah. yeah. nigga said, nigga said, that nigga said, fifteen million dollars. I right, send for me. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, and you, 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 like from that role never until seen it. Um, you never Dick seen Element? it, bro. Watch uh, both yeah, of those movies, that. bro. Oh my god, I've seen it, but I want to go watch it again. All right, but watch Money, Money Talks Talk. and then watch it. Be all about the Benjamins again. It'll fuck you up. They're the, they're like you, like whoa. It's it's the same movie. Yeah. yeah, it is the same plot. Definitely the same plot, and both dealing with diamonds. Diamonds. Yeah, mm-hmm. got to get the diamonds back. Big thing at the end where they trap them, and it was hey, at a spoilers. field. <laughs> uh, I mean, they're the I same mean, movie. You see one, you see the other. Yeah. My favorite thing all about the Benjamins was that the Impala. Hell Nigga. yeah! Ninety six, all black with the floor last year shifter. with the floor yeah. shift, baby. Yeah, come on, man. Oh, man. This yeah. is oh. smart stuff, guy. I was about to say this turned into an inside joke. Yeah, I was like, two fucking uncles at the party <laughs> talking. <laughs> he 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 the rest of oh, us is there. I'm sorry, uh, Auntie Pasta Salad. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you know he mad because ain't nobody yeah, saying nothing about the pasta. <laughs> oh no no no! This is a I great slayed. conversation about alternating. Yeah. <laughs> on a, a conversation I about Nick, Nick Cannon and me. Bow Wow. <laughs> oh yeah, man, it was really going. The clutch, yeah, it was really going. <laughs> <laughs> Nine right, six. We, we got to like, tell Pat about his potato salad if we say anything Andre, else. What, what? This nigga is wild right oh, now. God. Uh, phone man. punch Andre. real joke. God, oh. that's just. You oh, just thought that was gonna work. Stop. You uh, stay just in ruined it. Stay in it. No, Pick your phone no. back up. Pick your no. phone back up. Uh, no. Yeah, so no, what no. you so what you want me to tell him? Nah, All right. Uh, oh, is this, imp- uh, is this improv yeah, comedy? You gotta, you gotta stay okay. in it. Uh, you gotta stay I'm in it. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Do you want him to?" Oh no! It's Bell. Bell. I was just standing. Josh is gonna stay in it. I want him to stay in it. Fuck! I'm gonna bring it back then. Hello. Hey, let Meg run this again. <laughs> Look at me. Wait, wait, She's the captain now. When you talk about <laughs> like <laughs> both, both of them being like good actors though, yeah. are, like hold on, how many who's times? A actor? I would say Cannon. Nick Cannon, but wait, how many times did he cry? And did did Bow Wow? Because he did cry in um, American Son and Drumline, right? And American Son. Yeah. yeah, it was like that tough black boy cry. Yeah, yeah. and Here's then the did Bow Wow ever cry? Did he cry did in Robots? Yeah, I think Bow Wow cried one time. In when a Sierra Robo broke up with him, something like that. But look, but look, you ever like, like this though? Bow Wow's movies, he kind of be Bow Wow in them. He yeah. is always Bow Wow. Um, Nick yeah, was chill. a different Nick yes. in chill. Drumline and in a couple of those other and movies. And Underclassmen. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I, I got to mm-hmm. give it to Nick Tokyo. as far as the better actor. Tokyo Drift yeah. was Bow Wow in a car. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Nigga did no That's drift. the only fast <laughs> yeah. I don't think it's I saw. like, why'd your black he ass doing a Tokyo? He never drifted. He didn't drift. <laughs> he left that to the Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. Look at my man's Yeah. Look at my man's that sounds Keep like a going. side character. Yeah. <laughs> was the lead nigga. Like, oh, that was tight. <laughs> yeah, that was tight. No, <laughs> oh, Bow Wow was the lead in the trailer. You know how they do that. Like, <laughs> yeah. like Rihanna and Ocean's 8. You about to be in this shit. <laughs> <laughs> right. She about to be in actually come in to the <laughs> second part of the movie. <laughs> yeah. That's great. All right, so let's let's go ahead and count it out. What we got? See, who you rolling with? Uh, Nick Cannon. Okay. Nick Cannon. Already. Shut up. <sighs> All right. Young Nick. I'm going to go Nick Cannon. I'm going to say Nick Cannon. Drumline. Nick Cannon. Unanimous. Oh, unanimous. unanimous. Nick Cannon. Mi- Nick Cannon miss. Nick, like, give your boy his job, man. It, man. We like, just can't miss. Cannon the bad miss. guy in Drumline was like, he became like the black villain in black movies. Yeah. That that mean yeah, looking Sean, black dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Sean, yeah. yeah. That bald guy. Big He's brother Sean. Yeah, he my Big brother Iron Man. Mm-hmm. What's yeah. some villains that y'all want to whip their ass in real life? It's a couple of them that I'm like, man, I, I low key. Um... Oh, if you ever have you seen Queen and Slim? Yeah. yeah. The black dude. dude at the end that sold on. Trinidad James at the end? Yeah. Yeah, him. 
What he you wasn't call a villain. He just was, you know what I'm saying? He just, you know, he came in and let him, he had him hit that blunt. Yo, he did blunt. You might as well. Yeah. I didn't like Sam Jackson and Django. I know that's not really yeah. a villain. <laughs> yeah, it I is. Like it sucked. <laughs> I didn't like Leonardo DiCaprio, uh, DiCaprio and Django. Yeah, but he was just like white guy in slavery. Right, but it was like, it was like, man, he did it too good. You know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> he was like, waiting that's for how that I feel role. about Christian Bale in every movie when he plays anything racist. I'm like, that's him in real life. He I, was waiting I, for I, this. I, what does he do that he was a racist in? Um, Shaft. <laughs> oh yeah! That's oh a funny yeah! Example. It was crazy in that. Okay, yeah. I ain't like the nigga. I will who, always who, go there. I ain't like the dude from Dexter who's like, surprise, motherfucker! I love <laughs> him. <laughs> you didn't like him? I want to fuck him. That was my favorite <laughs> character. Uh, surprise, motherfucker! That's oh. that anger. <laughs> <laughs> that was my favorite character in that show. I just watched that recently. That was a good character. He was funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He was always. All right. Up. Well, it looks like it's unanimous. Um, Nikki. There it is. Young Nick Cannon out Nikki here. Nikki Cannon. Tune actors, in to Wild and Out on the, the VH1. Shut one. up. <laughs> you ain't on it. Please. I am on it this season. I am. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's getting out. He got it. That's right. It is like a little flashback of all the seasons. And if you look close. <laughs> <laughs> See Doe Boy way in the back. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Squadcast versus Man. Shout out to our special guest, CP. CP. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate you coming out thank y'all for submitting the suggestions and ideas please keep submitting them to my inbox on instagram and go ahead and submit them right there we take a look at them we would judge it uh somebody came to my attention somebody was like yo you use my idea and you didn't even give me a shout out first of all don't nobody get a shout out when do we do that <laughs> like, nobody since yeah. we started nobody has a got a shout out on your idea <laughs> yeah that's that's number one number two there is no idea new under the sun. So what you sent, like 16 other people sent, and we came up with things too. So He's getting just some shit off his chest. <laughs> no, man, because y'all don't the motherfucking show, show is in my inbox. <laughs> <laughs> shit. But anyway, man, thank y'all for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Peace. Peace.